What's going on guys, Andrew here and welcome to a brand new video in the channel. In this video, I am going to be teaching you how you can make your free custom thumbnail. You don't need any software or programs, it's completely free. Let's see if we can break 20 likes for this video. With that being said, let's get right into it. So the first thing you need to do is go on pixlr.com. After going over here, it will ask you for signing up and logging in. So after you have logged in, you need to scroll down on go on pixlr editor and click on launch web app so here it is this is the place you where you will make your thumbnail so first of all you need to go on file new image and change the name to anything you want i'm just going to write it andrew and you need to set the width at 1280 and height at 720 so it would be 1280 by 720 that's the standard size of the thumbnail now click on transparent and click on ok so here it is this is the tab or the layer you can see where we will do our work so now we need a background for this thing so for having a background you the best place to find the background is the google images so there are different type of background so the first type is the textured background where there are a few textures over here and the second one is the grunge background which is kind of some dull shades and the third is the flare background and the fourth one is the radial background I can't cover all the backgrounds because there are so many types of them so I have selected mine already and I am going to go on file open image and click on my background which I want and click on open so it will op be opening in a new layer so you want to press ctrl a and for selecting all the layer and then select ctrl c for copying all the layer and go to your original layer and press ctrl v so now you can just Deselected by Ctrl D and just close this thing. So now we have a background, but we want a full size of it. So I'm just going to scroll out and go on Edit, Free Transform, and by holding Shift, you want to drag it outward so it doesn't lose its proportion. I think that's good and then click outside it will say do you want to apply the changes you want to click on yes so guys we have the our background ready so after we have our background ready you need to reduce the background brightness so the text would pop out more so it will just reduce it a bit there you go and now we need to write some text on it so we can just go on text tool and click over here there you go it will automatically create a second layer here you can write anything you want and any information you need to give you need to write it over here like I will write how to make a thumbnail that's I think pretty good you can also select a different type of font or the size I am just going to put it 90 and font I will use Gabriolo um, so it would be somewhere around this one and you can also change the color of it so I am just going to do it blue and press ok you can also change the style if you want you can have it bold you can have it italic and if you can add both of them even bold and you can also have italic in it so i'm just going to use bold i think increasing a size would be better like 100 well, i think that's looking good now you can just reposition it just put it like this up so now your writing stuff is done now you want to add some images for doing that you need to go on google search 
and you can just write anything I am just going to have some emoji in it so you can write emoji dot png so png will make sure that it has a transparent background so you can select any image and download it so I already have downloaded it so I am just going to add a new layer and go to file open image and I am just going to select my image so this is the one I am that going to use so here is the image that we are going to put on a thumbnail so I am just going to do control A control C for copying go to our main layer and press control V there you go so now you want to reduce the size so you will just go and edit free transform and reduce the size by holding shift so there you go I'm just going to press outside and we say yes you can just close the background stuff so guys our thumbnail is ready I hope you all did like this video for finishing it you need to go on file save and you can save it in any format that you want jpg or png so i am just going to use png and press ok and it will say done so that's it for this video guys i hope you did learn something if you did be sure to smash that like button down below and it's always thanks for watching my name is andrew